He needs all the help he can get. Here to talk about the forces that have helped him in his own life is the guy Princess Leia counts on, Mark Hamill! <laughs> Thank you. That's really nice. I think you got a few fans out That's here. That's really nice. You guys nice. like Mark Thank Hamill? You. Yeah. Thank you. Mark, it's good to have you with us today. Uh, did you have you ever fantasized about being the hero with a mission like Luke Skywalker is in the films that you do? Oh boy. Not really. I think I used to go to the movies or read books and identify and wonder what it would be like if I were going through those experiences, but you know, I, I have had a, a fantasy all my life. I think ever since I saw the Disney animated Peter Pan, I've always wanted to be, be able to fly without an airplane, just right out the window. I don't try it. As uh, kids, I think we all tried that at some time. <laughs> I know I did. Landed in the sandbox. <laughs> Luke has the force to help him out in his situations and his challenges. What do you right. use in your own personal life? Well, it's great, because kids write me all the time about the Force, and it seems like everybody has their own opinion of what it is. Uh, I think it's just uh, a matter of... I think it's hard to make a decision and follow through with that, you know, especially mm -hmm. when you think maybe I did make the wrong decision. My parents weren't real crazy about me being an actor. I don't think they, too many are. Well, they, because the chances of making a good living at it are so slim. But uh, I think that... And that goes for everything you do in everyday life, whether it's writing a book report about a book that you couldn't stand, to have the determination, you know, to, to follow it through and well, do, do the best you can. I'm glad you've got determination because right. we've set a challenge for you today that's going to require just that. <laughs> you know, ever since Star Wars became such a hit, video space games have gained millions of Earthbound fans. One of these, Space Invaders, has taken the planet by storm. And we've got somebody with us today who's a Space Invaders champion, and he's here to challenge Mark to a match. Mark, do you accept the challenge? I'm a champion. I guess I have okay, to. Okay, well, then let's get to it. Please welcome the Eastern Regional Space Invaders champion, Frank Tetro. Yeah. There he is. Hi, Frank. Welcome to Kids of People 2. You met Mark Campbell? Hi, Frank. Frank, i got to ask you, how did you ever get into playing Space Invaders, and what ever made you decide to, to enter competition? Well, one of my friends got the game, and I used to go over to his house and practice all the time. And then I found out about a local contest we were having, and I managed to win that, and from there I just went on to the regionals. Your friend had the game at his house. Do you right. have to buy the game, or, or how else could no, you play? No, the game is basically all over in shopping centers and everything. Why do you think it's so popular, Space Invaders? Well, it's the kind of game that everybody can play, all age groups, and it's just a lot of fun. Everybody can play? Yeah, <laughs> basically. We'll find out about that. Will you show us how it works, Frank? Sure. Okay, let's have a little demonstration up here. Okay, now, what are you going to do? All uh, right, you've got 36 aliens to destroy. 36 and, aliens? The alien. Right, and you're on the bottom, see me? I'm the laser bit. And I've got to stop them from advancing down toward my planet. I've how, got... How much is skill and how much is... I mean, is there like a strategy to go after a certain... Right, well, your best bet is to hit the right rows because when the game starts, right, the right rows. And they're going to be headed towards your, um this side and when uh -huh. they hit there they'll come down a row and I therefore see. it's harder for you to hit them so your best bet is to go for the right rows well then they start coming back to the left side then right and then you go the for the left rows there. so your best bet is to go for the leaders the ones who are headed towards the left rows so you like those mm -hmm. i'd go for them ah okay mark you all ready well okay i'll give it a try but there's no <laughs> special effects technicians to help me here okay huh? well first of all i think we should mention mark's score will be on the left side of the screen as you can see here frank's score will be on the right and the rules of the game are we've got 30 seconds to play, and at the end of 30 seconds, the highest score is the winner. Okay? Contestants, take your places. No laughing! On your marks, get set, go! Okay. Oh! Oh, he got shot already. Does that mean, does he get another player? Oh, he's right back. Right. Oh, get three, three, right? And I get two more hits. Right, and every time you get hit, I get 200 oh, points. Shoot, I walk right into that one. But you say get over to the right, huh? Right. Okay. Every time, every time he gets hit, you get 200 I get 200, 200 points. Oh, right. I didn't know that. I didn't know wow. that. Well, we're down to five seconds, guys. I know. Look at the score. You're out again. How'd you do that? Well, I got three, uh, three he hits. Got hit and, three on and the time is up. 
Hey, 95. Okay, the winner is Frank Tetro. <laughs> Frank has 835 points, and Mark, you had a pitiful 95. I'm really disappointed. Sorry. Oh, uh, well, good try. Let's have a special thanks to Frank Petro and Mark Hamill for joining us. And don't go away, because we're going to be right back. Kids are people, too. We'll return after these messages. Mr. Columbus, traveling far? To the new world. Loaded with gold, huh? Too risky. We carry Bank America traveler's checks. World money. Bank America traveler's checks? Bank America. In leading world currencies, accepted in over 160 countries. And if they're lost? Lost? They would say lost. Besides, they're refundable in 40,000 places around the world. It is round, you know. And Bank America traveler's checks. Major, you sure have a nose for beef. Now, hold on. Hold on, will you? I know it's Alpo time. Come on, I'll get you some. It's right here. Right in the old Alpo meat locker. You know, dogs have a natural love for beef. And that's why Alpo beef chunks dinner is packed with the beef dogs thrive on. And that's real beef in Alpo. And beef is what dogs love. So give your dog Alpo. Because Alpo's got the beef that dogs love to eat. Right, Major? Huh? <laughs> Riviera present Le Specs. Sunglasses that are fantastically tough. Le Specs. Le Top. From Riviera. Le Place. A&S. Riviera present Le Specs. Sunglasses that are fantastically tough.